this class we work out one problem on symmetrical fault calculation using Theorem's theorem. This is the given network. This network consists of two generators, two transformers and two transmission lines. The reactant values are given, all are in per unit. The question is, if a symmetrical fault occurs on bus 3, calculate the fault current and also calculate current supplied by the generator G1 and G2. Fault reactance XF is equal to J.15. That is the question. Step 1, we have to simplify this network. These two transmission lines are connected in parallel. We have to find the effective reactance. J.1 into J.1 divided by J.1 plus J.1. The effective reactance is J.05. Step 2, we have to draw the reactance diagram. This is a generator reactance J.2 per unit. This is transformer reactance J.8 per unit. This is a transmission line effective reactance J.05 per unit. This is a transformer reactance J.8 per unit. This is a generator reactance J.2 per unit. Our aim is to calculate the fault reactance between the fault point and the neutral point. Here the fault reactance is given J.15. So that is our aim. So step 3 we have to simplify this reactance diagram. Here these three are connected in series J.2 plus J.8 plus J.05 that is equal to J.1.05. Here these two are connected in series J.8 plus J.2 that is J.1.0. The pre-fault voltage of generator 1 is 1.0, the generator 2 is 1.0. Step 4, 4, we have to simplify this network. Here these two are connected in parallel. J.1.05 J into J1.0 divided by J1.05 plus J1.0. The effective reactance is J.51. Again we have to draw the Thevenin sequence circuit that is a step 4. This is the effective reactance of these two. This is J.51. This is the fault reactance J.15. The next step we have to calculate the fault current IF that is a step 5. Fault current IF is equal to E Thevenin divided by X Thevenin. X Thevenin is equal to fault reactance plus effective reactance. Fault reactance is J. 0.15 plus J.51 so X is equal to J.66 now I can easily calculate the fault current IF E Thevenin's is equal to 1.0 X Thevenin's is equal to J.66 therefore fault current IF is equal to 1.52 angle minus 90 degree per unit or minus J.1.52 per unit the second question is I have to calculate current supplied by the generator G1 and G2 by applying current division rule, I can easily calculate the current supplied by the generator I1, that is IG1 is equal to fault current into X2 divided by X1 plus X2. Here X2 is equal to J1.0, X1 plus X2 is equal to J2.05, fault current is equal to minus J1.52, therefore current supplied by the generator 1 is equal to 0.74 angle minus 90 degree. Similarly, Current supplied by the generator 2, that is IG2 is equal to fault current minus J1.52 into X1 J1.05 divided by J1.05 plus J1.0. So minus J1.52 into J1.05 divided by J2.05. Current supplied by the generator 2 is equal to 0.78 angle minus 90 degree. Fault current is 1.52 angle minus 90 degree per unit. Current supplied by the generator 1 is 0.74 angle minus 90 degree. Current supplied by the generator 2 is 0.78 angle minus 90 degree per unit. So this way we have to work out this problem. Thanks for listening.